All right, this next story may startle you. A woman in Missouri is charged in connection with the death of her one-month-old after allegedly putting them in the oven. The baby was pronounced dead at the scene. Relatives told police the mother, Mariah Thomas, accidentally put the infant in the oven instead of their crib. Thomas is charged with endangering the welfare of a child and faces 10 to 30 years in prison. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Missouri by way of Kansas City. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Missouri. Everybody inside the great city of Kansas City. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also... Keep these stories coming. Now, you all, today is a very tragic day. Today is a very sad day on the Trey King Show because this has to be one of the most horrific stories that's ever been told on this channel. And you know, we have told a lot of stories. But before I start this story, I want you all to put your thinking caps on and really just think logical. You get what I'm saying? Put all your feelings, all your emotions, all the drama, all the BS to the side, and let's think like rational, logical adults. Now, the story you're about to hear, I want you all to ask yourself this right here. Do you think this person, Mariah Thomas, was mentally ill or do you think she knew what the hell she was doing? Because it seems to me she knew what she was doing. Now, Mariah Thomas and some people close to her want people to think that all oh, this was an accident. They want people to think that she accidentally put a baby in the oven. Now, I'm going to ask you all this also. Have you ever accidentally put your child in the oven? Answer that right now. Have you ever took your child in the kitchen and just left your child there and walked the hell on out. And also ask yourself this, family, who mistakes a oven for a baby crib? Because last time I checked, baby cribs are not in the what? The kitchen. The last time I checked, baby cribs don't have buttons on them, unless you have a smart baby crib. And also to drive my point home even further, baby cribs don't have handles. They don't have doors on them. Now, if that's not enough to make you go, hmm, I don't know what is. So, Mariah Thomas put her baby in the oven and baked this child to death. Yes. And that's a very sad and tragic way to go out. Just think about that. You only been on this earth close to like 30 some days and you already being taken out by your mom. Now, on the other hand, I don't understand how the prosecutors in Kansas City came up to this conclusion saying that this was an accident because clearly it shows different. So ask yourself this right now, my good people. How many moms and dads that you know that are going through things, mental illness, uh, postpartum depression or other things they going on in life and they do this to their children? I cannot name a single one. And what make it even more worse is that you have people all on social media, Facebook especially, making excuses up for this woman, talking about postpartum depression. Now, I understand, you know, women go through certain situations or whatnot. I don't understand the whole thing because I'm a man. But I want you all to understand, just because you say that you have postpartum depression or mental illness, that does not mean you're not responsible for what? Your actions. You are accountable for your actions. Now, Mariah Thomas is facing 10 to 30 years in prison, all because she decided to put her baby in the oven. What is it by mistake or not? That's for the judge to decide and also for you all to decide also because it does not make sense to me how can you mistakenly put a child in the oven? And also for those of you who really believe this was a mistake, ask yourself this right here. Even if she put the child in the oven, who in the hell cut the oven on? Because the oven's don't cut on by themselves. You have to push a button to cut the oven on. And also ask yourself this, was the oven on when she first put the child in there or did she put the child in there and then cut the oven on? You know how like when we cook food or bake food, we preheat the oven? So ask yourself that also. And also if Mariah Thomas thought that she was really putting her baby in the crib, now you know damn well the oven going to get hot. So you mean to tell me that child will sleep the whole time while the child is being baked in the oven? The child not let out one scream. So Mariah Thomas did not hear the child scream out? Just think about this. Have you ever got burned by a cigarette lighter or uh? or anything, guess what? It hurts, don't it? You make a sound. Sometimes you scream, sometimes you yell, sometimes you cry. So I know one damn thing. Children are going to cry. Babies are going to cry at the drop of a dime. So there's no way in hell you cannot make me believe that she did not hear this child being burnt alive in the oven. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. So ask yourself again, my good people, do you think this was an accident or do you think this Helper knew damn well what she was doing. And like I told y'all in the beginning of the video, some of you all are going to like it. Some of you all is going to accept it. But, you know, to each their own, I believe this was no accident. Because it's kind of strange that just a couple of weeks ago, she was getting ready to get turned up for her birthday. Talking about she's going out to get drunk. Now, what mentally ill person talk like that? 
And also what's quite strange before I dig deep into the story is the fact none of these people are mentally ill until they have children. Now, when they get children, all of a sudden they have postpartum depression. All of a sudden they have mental illness. But you are perfectly okay until a child come into this world. It sounds like to me that a lot of these moms and dads don't want to be parents, and then they don't want to have to deal with the responsibility of being a parent. Some people just can't handle it. I understand that. We're hearing about people killing their children more and more, and no, it's just not one race of people. So let's keep that in mind also, because I'm tired of hearing people talking about, well, uh, 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 other races of people do that. No, no. Evil don't care what color you are. Evil is for everybody. You get what I'm saying? You're like, you can do good. You can do bad in every race also. So for people who talk about, well, that's a white person thing. No, that's an evil person type thing. That's a person with a sickness. And also, remember this. When you say mental illness, what do you think an illness is? A sickness. That means they're mentally sick. And for those of you saying, well, well, Trey, she maybe was mentally ill. Why did nobody give her help? And also, how do you get mentally ill after you have a child? And these people who are so-called mentally ill, guess what? They don't hurt themselves. They hurt everybody else. Now, I know people who are mentally sick. I know people who are really crazy. And guess what? They hurt themselves. They don't just hurt other people. They hurt themselves. They cut on themselves. They scratch themselves. So it sounds like to me, this mental illness is very selective. And like I said, I understand that's going to make some of you all mad, but that's okay. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go. Kansas City mother charged in death of one month old after <laughs> he go to BS. Allegedly, mistakenly placing the infant in the oven, says the officials, not the Trey King show. And that's a damn shame. How do you mistakenly place a one month old baby in the oven? Was the crib beside the oven? Because who in the hell keep a baby crib inside of a kitchen? Also, and also, who turned the oven on? And like I said, was the oven preheated or did she put the baby in there and then cut the oven on? Because guess what? Just like I told you all, have you ever been burnt or you've been by something hot? You're going to scream. You're going to try to get away from it. So there's no way in hell you can make me think that this child was just sitting in there just chilling while being baked to death. Come on now. Let's be for real. Anyway, a mother in Kansas City, Missouri has been charged and arrested in the death of her one-month-old infant after allegedly mistaken placing the child in the oven instead of the crib, says the prosecutor's office. And that right there is a damn, 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 damn shame. I don't understand what's wrong with people. Now, um, uh, so that means people who go out here and drink and drive, you know, guess what? Alcoholism is an uh, illness, right? If you've been addicted to drinking or whatnot, if you have an alcohol problem, that's a, a mental illness also. So do people make excuses up for these uh, people who have car wrecks and go out and kill folks? No, they don't. They lock their ass up for 25, 30 years. You get what I'm saying? So tell me this. Why do some of these women and some of these men get to act like they're mentally ill when we can clearly see they're not? Because remember this. She was trying to turn up and go out and get drunk right around her birthday. So when did the illness kick in? That's what I want to know. Now, add to the story, Mariah Thomas, a star now, 26 years old, has been charged with a Class A felony, first-degree endangerment of the child and the death of her baby, according to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office. A damn shame. And so you mean to tell me that y'all charge this woman with a Class A felony, first-degree endangerment of a welfare of a child, but she don't get charged with damn murder? I don't understand that. Please let me know that in the comment section right now. Why isn't this helpful charged with murder? That's why I want to know. Because you have people in this world who commit way less crimes, way less offenses, and guess what? They get the damn full extent of the law. So I don't understand why the law is like this towards certain people, mostly women. And once again, that's going to piss a lot of women off. But hey, who cares? Let's go on. Now also adding to the story, police officers were dispatched to a residence in the Manor Park neighborhood of Kansas City at around 1.30 p.m. Friday, responding to a call about a non-breeding infant. A damn shame. And for my people who are from the Kansas City area, you know exactly where they're at. But guess what? When the police officers and also the fire department got there, it was a very horrific scene what these folks had to witness. And my heart goes out to the people who work for the police department and also for the fire department because the things they have to witness, the things they have to see is a damn shame. And not everybody can stomach that. It takes a lot of guts and courage and bravery to do what these folks do. So once again, salute to the good cops. Salute to all the firefighters out there who are putting their lights on the line trying to save folks. Now, I know what you all are thinking since we came to the end of this video. You are thinking, well, Trey. Did the mom, Mariah Thomas, have anything to say? Yes, this heifer had a little bit to say. And it probably going to make you slap somebody. So if you buy somebody right now, keep your hands to yourself. And this is what Mariah Thomas had to say right here, as you all see. She says, I thought I put the infant in her crib and I accidentally put her in the oven. 
Thomas allegedly told the infant's grandfather, who gave a statement to the police according to court documents. But girl, who cut the damn oven on? Tell me that right there. Like they say in church, who in the hell left the gate open? Who cut the oven on? Or was the oven already preheated? And think about this also. They got to be one of the most horrific ways to die. You get me? I think I would rather die uh, by gunshot or anything other than being burnt alive. That's a damn shame. You feel me? It's like you don't even have to die and wait to go to hell. You're already living in hell. But for people who are making up these excuses for all these folks committing all these atrocities and evil in the world, shame on all of you. Because I'll tell you one thing. If you was that baby or all these other people who's getting killed by these folks and somebody trying to make excuses up for the killer, and notice, they don't have no excuse for the victims or whatnot. They got all the excuses for the damn people who are out here doing the killing. Now, in closing, also, I want you all to look at this picture right now. I'll say this to the very end. Notice, this child has bruises on her leg and also on her arm. So this child was clearly being abused before this child was ultimately baked alive. And you mean to tell me that nobody not know? But it's also suspect and very strange and sad also that some of these people will come out and say that Mariah Thomas had mental illness. And like I told y'all, illness is a sickness. So why did nobody go get Mariah Thomas help? And also, when did she become mentally ill? Because clearly, because clearly, she went mentally ill that night. She was trying to go out for a birthday and turn up and get drunk. That's not how mentally ill people talk. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share a video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Love those children. And I understand, you know, people go through things in life. I understand. Not everybody can stand the rain. I understand. Life throws all kinds of curveballs and problems at you. But at the same time, if you know that you are mentally unstable or if you know that you are dealing with some underlying issues, please go seek help because the children are innocent. And once again, to those people out there making up all these excuses for these people killing folks for no reason, shame on all of you because I guarantee you, you would not be saying that if that was you or someone that you love. So you all think about that today. And like I tell you all, if you don't want those children, seek help. You can reach out to me. We'll place those children with somebody else or we'll find some other avenue. There is no reason for you to take your child life or even your own life. Anyway, I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.